Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this tutorial, we're looking at portrait practice in ZBrush. We're going to demystify sculpting portraits in ZBrush. A lot of people have problems with it, and it's actually really not that difficult if you look at breaking down the hole into parts. And so we're going to start with a base mesh to work from, like a lot of companies do. A lot of companies provide you with a base mesh to start from, because why, why reinvent the wheel? We'll be using image planes in ZBrush so we can look to see where we can literally line the geometry up so we get some better overall shapes. We'll project the images onto the mesh so we can see, OK, we need to improve here. We need to adjust there, etc., as we need to. And then we'll look at starting to sculpt in just some of the bigger, more obvious shapes and foundations. We're not looking for any final details on this. We're just looking to get everything started and get a good representation for what we're actually then going to jump off into to get a final image and a final portrait done once we're through with all of this. Okay, let's get started. 